my last album, I talked for a big chunk of that about how outdoorsy my wife is and how I'm trying to fit in like with her family and everything. And I'm happy to report to you that the struggle continues. <laughs> It's baby steps, right? Like, I'm into some stuff, right? I'm into bow and arrows. It's baby steps. There's still a lot of stuff I say no to. And it sucks living in the Pacific Northwest because everybody's outdoorsy, right? There's Subarus all over the place. So every time you turn down an outdoorsy activity, everybody just looks at you like you're an angry black dude the whole time. Like, my wife asked me to go skiing in front of her whole family, and I said no very politely. But that's not what everybody heard. Apparently, what everybody heard was, hell no, I ain't going skiing, shit. I ain't going to pay money to go up a mountain just to slide back down it. The hell with that. I ain't going to lose money and end up in the exact same place that I started. You can kiss my ass. So I'm trying not to sound like that, man, but it's, ugh, it's rough. And my wife, she's really working with me. Like, uh, last summer, we went camping for the first time because gentrification <laughs> it's real look we went to the woods we went deep into the woods too like not any of those like uh parking space camping spots this was deep in the woods and as soon as we got there i had to use the bathroom so i did what i thought everybody does when they're out in the wilderness is i started walking into the bushes my wife was like nathan where are you going I said, what's it look like? I'm going to use the bathroom. She goes, no, you have to use the outhouse. And I was like, what the hell is an outhouse? And on that day, I found out what an outhouse was, and I've never known fear before this day. <laughs> like, these things are the worst, man. I don't understand why they still exist, first off. It's 2016, right? There weren't any outhouses in Back to the Future. <laughs> if you're in an outhouse, like, there should... <laughs> it's 2016, right? You can't have iPhones and outhouses used in the same time period. If that happens, there should be a rip in time and space or something like that. Somebody should get sucked into something is what I'm trying to say. And I have OCD. Like, my one trigger is public bathrooms. I can't stand them. I lose it. And an outhouse isn't even that. An outhouse is basically an archive for everyone who's ever come to that campsite. It's a guest book, is what I'm trying to say. It's disgusting. It's like, huh, looks like Corn Cob Jim was here last week. He didn't even say anything. That was rude. And it sucked, because it was at night. So my wife gave me a headlamp to find my way to the outhouse, and I completely forgot that everywhere you look with a headlamp, it illuminates whatever you're looking at. So I'm in there trying to fight flies and take care of business. And I accidentally turn and stare straight into the depths of hell, basically. I know. My whole life flashed before my eyes. Every bad decision I've ever made was down in that hole. First time I cheated on a math test. Time I crashed my parents' car. Time I let my glasses slip off my face into an outhouse hole. It was all down there. It's the most humbling experience I've ever had in my entire life. Because mine was right on the top, and it looked worse than everybody else's. That's messed up. You know how hard that is to have an intervention in the woods for yourself, by yourself? Like, ugh, man, you got to make some different life choices. This is unacceptable. You need to try that kale, that brown rice, or something like that. And listen to them hippies, man. I'm telling you, you are going to die soon. Just in case there's any comedy police in here, too, that's not a poop joke, okay? That's a joke about facing your fears. The worst part hasn't even happened yet, you know? Like, we're gonna take kids camping at some point, you know? And that means they're gonna have to use the outhouse, and that terrifies me. Because outhouse seats are one size fits all, you know? They're not meant for kids, is what I'm trying to say. And if my kid falls in the outhouse, that's it. I'm not fishing that kid out. I'm not calling the fire department. I'm going to close the lid. I'm going to go back to the campsite. I'm going to look my wife in the eye and be like, we need to start over.
<laughs> my wife be like, what the hell you mean we need to start over? Look, you see the kids not with me, okay? There's bears and bobcats in the woods. I need you to create a scenario where it's okay for you to let go. Because I'm not pulling no kid out of no outhouse. That's disgusting. I told that joke once and the whole room got quiet and this one old black lady stood up in the back. She was like, you get that baby out that toilet. <laughs> Who the hell are you talking to? First of all, it hasn't happened yet. You need to pay attention, lady. <laughs> Second off, why you just side with the kid Right off the bat, you don't even know that kid, right? You know me, I've been talking to you. He could be a jerk, you have no idea. His last words could be, I hate you, Dad. Uh. <laughs> that just pissed me off, man. Like, she really, really made me upset. Because it wasn't like she was trying to make a point or anything. She just got on her soapbox to make me look bad. You get that baby out that toilet, because I would get that baby out. No, you wouldn't. You know you wouldn't. She was only saying that because she knew she'd never be tested. You know? She knew she'd never be in a situation where there was a kid and an outhouse in the same area. That's my only motivation for getting rich now, is just so I can dig outhouses at will and throw kids in them. Like, not maliciously. I mean, like, to test adults. Make sure they're telling the truth. You don't have to like it. I'm a comedian. I'm not a politician. I'll throw a hundred kids in the outhouse to prove my point. <laughs> Sorry, kids. You're just going to have to climb up each other like World War Z. That's the only way you're getting out. <laughs>